In the US, vinyl sales have doubled in the past year, while digital album and CD sales have taken a plunge. But is this trend happening right here in Singapore? Well, in this entertainment special, we find out if more Singaporeans are getting hooked on vinyl, and we also take you to a few places where you can buy vinyl and also get tips on how to get your first turntable. <laughs> Before the age of CDs and digital MP3s, there was vinyl. They're big and bulky, costly to maintain, and some say it's going the way of the dinosaurs. But just when you think it's as dead as your old 8-track tape or laser disc, vinyl appears to be a niche market that's here to stay. And to all you naysayers, here are the hard facts. In the US, recent figures released by Nielsen SoundScan show that overall vinyl sales will once again set a benchmark in 2009, with sales up 50% through the first five months of the year. But are we seeing the trend happening right here in Singapore? In a corner shop tucked away on the third level of Adelphi Shopping Mall, owner Dennis says he's seeing a revival in the vinyl market. Definitely the market is growing compared to seven years when I first started, okay? At that time, not many people into vinyl, except for the die-hard um, collectors. You know? um, so these collectors will buy. But um, nowadays, we get people who the casual listener, they come in and buy the LPs for listening. Okay, um, and definitely the crowd has increased through the years. Dennis has been in the music business for seven years, mainly selling pre-owned and new vinyl. Vinyls make up 70% of Dennis's sales. The other 30% come from CDs. And he thinks the recent revival is owed to pop gems from the 70s and 80s getting reissued. Um, in fact, in the past, we are doing mainly um, pre-owned used vinyl. And uh, through the years, I think because of the popularity, um, a lot of uh, manufacturers, they start to produce new LPs. But these new LPs, they are all old titles, they are all reissued. So these reissued titles are getting more and more. That means your old Depeche Mode, New Order, The Smiths, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath and Michael Jackson records back on the shelves. A greater variety of titles on offer also means it can attract a wider range of customers. Um, for vinyls, actually I would categorise into three uh, areas. Uh, mainly, one is basically the um, old timers, because these are people who are went through some of the 70s, 80s pops, and then they are coming back to look for it. Okay. Then there's a second category are those audiophile people. The audiophile people are people who have golden years. They realize that um, vinyls, the sound produced from vinyls, are more involving. You can feel it, no? because music is something that you can feel. No? It's just like. Um, why Beethoven plays so well another one who plays his tune doesn't play so good it's different right it has feel it has feel so vinyl has more feel okay so these are the odd five people they felt that it's better better sound so they're coming in the third are the younger generation they felt kind of fun you know seeing the thing spinning because in the, that's what I mentioned is that in the past they see the CD goes in the drawer they don't see anything spinning from the CD but for vinyls, they see them spin. And then in some movies, they, they're using some high-end vinyl players uh, that captures their attention. So it's like pop culture as well as the, the novelty. In. Right, 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 right. Sure, these young buyers could also just be influenced by their parents or maybe just popping in to buy mom or dad a gift. But with contemporary titles like the Black Eyed Peas and Lady Gaga on vinyl, it's not surprising that youths too are getting into the hobby pouring through the racks of record stores alongside old-time audiophiles. Still, there are those that don't agree that the market is opening up to a larger pool of vinyl enthusiasts. Find out why in the next clip.